I'm here chatting with Khalid Al Khuder of Glowwork, an e-portal for women's empowerment and recruitment based in Riyadh. Khalid, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing? Excellent. So tell us a bit about Glowwork. Um, Glowwork started off last June uh, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, it was basically established uh, to link females, job seekers, with employers that are looking to hire women. Um, now, just to give you a little story about how it started, I actually um, graduated myself from Canada in 2006 with a bachelor's in commerce uh, and a marketing degree and uh, a minor in HR and psychology. And when I came back to Saudi Arabia, I found it extremely difficult as a male to find a job. Not because there aren't job opportunities, but because there isn't a clear process when it comes to recruitment in Saudi Arabia. And so, at the end of the day, I had to use one of my recommendations to uh, find me uh, a job. Now, my sister graduated two years back and she came from Canada and she was an honors student and she uh, you know she she was her name was paved on the wall of the university so she thought it's going to be a piece of cake in finding a job when she comes back and she and I told her straight up you're not gonna find an opportunity let me help you I'll get your recommendation into one of these job uh, one of these large uh, multinationals and she said to me Khalid I have more dignity, I have more pride than you have, and I'm going to find my job by myself. So she spent a full year um, uh, you know, driving around in the car with a driver, handing out CVs, and she never even got one single interview. And because she didn't want to go to the recommendation route. And she ended up going back to Canada and, and uh, getting hired there. Now, I asked the question, and I gathered a number of HR professionals and I sat with them and I said, what is really the deal of hiring women in Saudi Arabia? And they said clearly, the only problem that we have uh, with hiring women is we don't know how to find them. And apparently it's actually the same thing when it comes to women finding uh, jobs uh, themselves. So they, they could not find each other. There was a study done by Booz and Company and it said that 15% of the labor market is, is formed by women only and that 60% of those women that have PhDs are, are currently unemployed. And this was a very um, you know, staggering statistic which we used as our part of our mission and vision uh, when we started. And when we launched, um, it was during, we were actually lucky to start uh, our website during the period when the Ministry of Labor was coming up with a reform in creating opportunities for women, and they established the whole uh, Nitaqat system. Uh, Nitaqat system basically uh, enforces that em employees have to ha increase their Saudiization rate by a certain number um, every year. And so, we started tapping into markets. The first thing that we did is we went and helped um, Panda Supermarket in hiring cashiers, which was faced with a lot of controversy, uh, controversy uh, during that period. And um, However, we stuck by our guns. We did face a lot of uh, threats in the start. And we were very surprised that after uh, two months, we received a very nice uh, and generous email from the ministry of, uh, Minister of Labor himself saying, you know, what you're doing is very uh, great and I encourage you to keep going. And he shared his vision uh, for the Saudi labor market throughout the coming year. So throughout the first six months is knock on doors of companies that had positions mainly uh, executed by male expatriates. And we were convincing them to change these positions into uh, female, Saudi female positions, and so we called it feminization. And they accepted uh, this, and we had a success that of 160 organizations in six months with over 2,200 vacancies were posted on the website. That's very impressive. Um, tell me more about the numbers. How many women have signed up to date and how many have been hired so far? 
Well, when we first started off, we focused on really a strategy of how we can um, create a new trend in the kingdom because women recruitment is really more of uh, you know shaping up the culture to accept um, women in the market. It's you know it's, it's it's something that goes way back to the history of uh, our prophet peace be upon him when where his his wife used to be. Uh, a, a very hard worker, a very accomplished businesswoman, and and it's just a matter of setting, uh, getting the culture and tradition to start accepting the fact that women have their place in the market. So we signed up with majority of the universities in the kingdom, and the cultural bureaus uh, outside. So what we do is we would educate uh, those in the universities how to use the e-portal what's the benefits of, of searching online, how to use Google uh, for searching your uh, job opportunities, how to write your CVs, all the soft skills needed to, to apply for a job because there's so many, so much qualified candidates. The only problem is they're not given that practicality um, during their education period. There is no, there's a huge gap between the labor market and the education sector. And this is the gap that Glowwork uh, uh, was able or were trying to still fix where we are educating uh, graduates uh, on the soft skills needed and that it's not uh, a shame um, to work during your university periods and encourage the whole part-time uh, method. So what we have currently in terms of numbers, we have around uh, on our website 13,000 uh, female job seekers, Saudi. Um, and Recently, uh, we, we've come up with a number of uh, other initiatives tied with the website where we saw that all the companies that have signed up are all large and multinational corporations. So we said, why not target those that are the real job creators, the SMEs, and see why, why can't they post on our website? And we found that, you know, we did a focus group and a research, and they said, we'd love to hire women, we only have one problem. The problem is we uh, the whole segregation law the segregation law means that I have if I was to hire women I have to have a separate office space means more rent uh, more am uh, cost on amenities electricity by labor law I have to have a security guard outside this is all extra cost if I was to hire two or three ladies it's not going to be worth it so we uh, partnered up with uh, a company in Saudi called uh, AXA IT Solutions in creating a cloud computing uh, uh, service where the most complex jobs, such as call centers, can be done from home. So we would go and install these uh, desktops at the female's home and the, the, her employer can monitor her every move, whether it's uh, the number of inbound, number of outbound calls, the way uh, how uh, the, uh, what she's doing on the on her screen every 10 seconds there's a refresh of her page it's a very uh, sophisticated and innovative uh, monitoring system um, it's actually you can monitor what she's do doing more than what you can monitor what she's doing uh, when she's in the office you can even limit the sort of website she enters or the time uh, she's given for things like Facebook or LinkedIn or, or, or Twitter um, and the, it was a great solution. The main three questions that we were asked is how much is it going to cost us, uh, how am I going to monitor them, and how am I going to communicate with them. The cost of such a solution is basically the same cost that is put, it, put into your transportation allowance. So instead of paying the transportation allowance, females can work from home um, uh, with all, with all the, uh, you know, except of the, the culture and traditional uh, laws that we have. And you can monitor her through the innovative monitoring system. And there's a whole virtual communication uh, tool that's provided micro, my, by Microsoft. So this solution, we tried it out and we tested it on a number of uh, organizations where we, for instance, a call center that is based in Riyadh, we helped hire uh, five women in Qasim, which is three hours or two hours and a half away from uh, Riyadh. So this solution creates jobs in rural areas. It helps eliminate uh, a discrimination factor where there's a number of HR heads that say, I don't want to hire married women because of the higher risk of maternity leave. This uh, uh, 
risk factor is eliminated and it also helps create jobs for those with special needs and have a disability um, and can be working from home. Now all this has led us uh, to partner up with the Ministry of Labor just recently where true we have 13,000 on our website but we've also been given access now to over 1.6 million uh, CVs that are registered on Hafiz, which is the unemployment uh, or the job seeking scheme that has put, been put in place by the Ministry of Labor. So we have in total now uh, uh, access to around 1.6 uh, million CVs. Um, Khaled, how are women responding to using this platform? Uh, can you tell us about a woman who's been hired through Glowwork or is working through the on at home platform? Yes, well, um, the great thing about Glowwork is it's not only a recruitment site and a recruitment portal, we're trying to create a movement. So anything that's related to really women empowerment, we, we try and, uh, you know, we're, we're there. We're always there. Uh, we're trying to promote messages to encourage uh, women uh, leadership positions and so forth. There's been a number of women that's been hired through our uh, website, through our full recruitment service, through our working from home service. Um, we've had so many success stories from organizations such as Aramex. Um, you know, they're one of our first uh, partners to use our, our service and they've hired majority of their call center through our, uh, through our website. Um, so women are actually very supportive and the Saudi public, even the males, are very supportive of our initiative now because we've created something that is hassle-free. I mean, previously, the Saudi men, myself, I, you know, I have to drive my sister, my cousin, to, to help her find a job. Now she can actually search for her job in, 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 from her home without the whole hassle, and she can even apply for jobs and, and work from home in, in some areas where it's acceptable. So the, it's, you know, it's, very been, it's been very accepted by the Saudi public, and, uh, and we're actually looking at adopting the same concept in other uh, areas in the region, such as uh, Oman or Yemen, where there is a lack in uh, diversity uh, ratio in the workplace. And I think it would be a success in adopting the same uh, system. What are the challenges that you've faced so far? The challenge was, um, you know, getting companies to open new positions for women um, that were occupied by men throughout the history of these organizations is a very difficult part because they don't believe in the, you know, there's a lot of organizations, they don't believe in the capabilities of women f uh, due to the fact that it's, there's not much awareness. When you come to think about it, the, you know, one of the largest budgets the kingdom has invested in is into the education sector. We have the largest university in the world is uh, f uh, for purely for women is in Saudi Arabia um, and this whole factor is why should I educate my sister um, or my cousin or my relative and uh, she doesn't have a place into the workforce so this is this was our challenge when we first started but but you know thank God due to our intentions um, I think we, we received a lot of support from the Saudi public, from the Ministry of Labor, from the Human Resource Development Fund, and we were very lucky to have them uh, on our side and push our initiative uh, to where it is today. Do you see Glowwork empowering, I mean, do you see Glowwork helping SMEs that want to enter the Saudi market? Would this be a good way for them to source labor easily? Most definitely, most definitely. We already work with a lot of organizations that are just setting up in Saudi Arabia. They're investing in Saudi, and they need, uh, you know, they need women to work, and they need some, you know, people that are flexible. And females are the most, actually, the most more flexible than men when it comes to uh, uh, working, uh, due to the fact that they can work from home at the start, and then once they start setting up, they can move off and start working in their office. So um, we're, you know, we always look at how we can help um, any SMEs or any uh, investors that are trying to set up in the kingdom. Um, you know, we, we are always very proactive when it comes to that. Great. Well, I think it's a fantastic initiative. And um, thanks for coming on to WAMDA to be our Entrepreneur of the Week. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Take care.